this video presentation, I will show you how to compare levels from a result against a target level. First thing you need to do is actually work out the level. So I need to work out the total from these two papers, which is equal sum, open brackets, click, hold down shift, move right, close brackets. And that gives you the total. Now, next one is work out the percentage, but again, equals from the cell, divide it by total, 26, and then times by 100. Put the percentage there. Now, I want to work out the grey boundary. And this is why it's really important that before you start working this out, you put underneath your data tracker all the grey boundaries for the various different exams. And here, I've got the grey boundaries for high level paper and the standard level paper. So I'll show you how to do that. Very easy. Click equals V lookup, open brackets. Now, I want to be able to do a V lookup with this cell as the reference. So from the cell, comma. Click on, this, on the grey boundaries where you want to go. Now, it's really important when you do this that you have the levels going down. There's an Excel special thing you need to do. As long as you set it up, it's very, it makes the rest easier. So, I want to click that one. I'm using percentages. Hold down shift, click on the bottom right. Now, if you press F4, what it does is it means that it permanently locks these cells. Every time I copy and paste this, it will always compare this percentage against these cells. Now, if I want to change that, all you have to do, for example, if I was doing a paper two or paper three, is go into the formula and change the reference cells accordingly. So I've done that, comma, and I want to compare all the percentages of this column, so the second column. Comment two, close brackets. And as you can see, the grey boundary is calculated. Then that highlight all the cells. Bottom right, a little cursor appears, click, drag, the bottom. And it does it again. Now it's really important that when we do standard level, these stay the same. But obviously, we need to use different grey boundaries. So I'll show you how to do it again. Equals V lookup. Open brackets. Okay, this is the reference cell. I'm clicking that. This time, I want to compare it against these grey boundaries. Click on what I want. Now, at the bottom of the level, by holding shift and click, I want to fix those cells. F4. And again, I'm comparing the second column. Comment two and then close brackets. Click and drag and it changes accordingly. You can try, yeah, above 42, below 42 is level 3, good, above 43 is level 4, good, and that works. I will show you how to use conditional formatting to color code the results to show how much progress the student has made when compared against their target grade. And then click conditional formatting. Then manage rules. New rule. To do this, you need to use a formula to determine which cells to format to click here. This is a bit long-winded, but if you do it this way, it's actually very long-winded. But then once you copy and paste, you can keep on copying and pasting, and it will always compare the results with this particular target grade. So cell value in this case is H4. Then you've got to get the triangles correct. It's less than open brackets. Here it says F4, but you want to compare it to target grade, so in this case it's C4. Dollar C4 minus 1. Format. Bit of red. Don't so want to be too below. That's okay. Applies to. I want to change that to. I can change it to highlight all of this. And I can do that by clicking applies to. Click. Hold down shift. Move my mouse back to the bottom, click, and you can see it changes. Stop if true. And if I press apply, sometimes these little speech marks appear. If they do, you just need to go in and delete them. That's okay. That's because I didn't start off the formula with equals. And if I press apply, you can see, yeah, it's worked. Let's do the next one. Again, new rule. Use form to determine which cells format. 
equals h4 is less than dollar sign c4 one less than we're going to color code those orange okay again we need to select all the cells so i click where it applies to move hold down shift again stop if true and then press apply Now, what it's done is it's overwritten some of them. So we need to put this in order. So if you click and then press down, you can see again it changes. So it's really important when you set it up and use these arrows to order all these formulas into this particular order. Long-winded, I know, but again, if you do it this way, you can copy and paste this conditional formatting every time you want to do it. So now I've set it up. And if, as you can see here, if I press apply, and suddenly it's color coded all those. Ah, okay, you see here again, these speech marks appear. Sometimes it happens, it's very annoying. So just double check. And we have to do is go in, edit rule, get rid of them. Okay, press apply, yeah, and it's corrected itself. See, very simple. And that's how you use conditional formatting. Now again, you might want to copy and paste this into another cell. And that's very simple to do. Highlight all of the cells, click Format Painter. See it changes icon. Click in the column that you want to format. Click here. See it changes all to red. Just double check and make sure that conditional formatting, when we copy and paste, works. So let's just quickly work out great equals. Some open bracket, hold down shift, close bracket, known as bracket percentage, equals for yourself L4 divided by total, which is 39 times 100. Okay. Now we want to copy and paste the formulas of the grey boundaries. It's the same paper. Right click, copy. When we paste it into here, we right click, we want to choose the formulas. And it copy and paste it. We know it's copied and pasted because M4 is the cell we want to do. Now, if we highlight all of them and click and drag. Ah, right, there's a slight problem. Some of the colors haven't changed. There must be something wrong with the conditional formatting. So you go into the conditional formatting, manage rules. C4, perfect, C4, ah, there's a mistake here. All we need to do is edit it. Then we go, edit rules. Dollar sign, C4. Okay. The same to reapply. Ah. It's correct to the rule. The next time we copy and paste it, so if we again format paint and put it back, okay, the codes haven't changed, but if we go into conditional formatting now these rules, excellent, all the same. And that's how you can use conditional formatting and VLOOKUP to work out the grey boundaries and track progress. And once you've done that, copy and paste conditional formatting so you don't have to constantly go in and make these.